So okay guys, uh, in this video, uh, uh, determine values of reactions. So ano yung mga reactions na present dito? So meron tayong R1 going up, R2 going up, R3 going up. At isa pa yung reaction ng roller. So yung reaction ng roller is always perpendicular to the uh, object. So perpendicular meaning this going upward. So arrow up yung ating reaction kasi roller siya. So gagawin natin paano natin i handle yung ganitong uh, kind of uh, problem. So since dalawa yung object natin na naka-attach sa reaction or meron siyang roller sa pagitan nila, yung unang gagawin natin is isasuggest ko na unahin muna natin isolve yung mga forces or unahin muna natin isolve yung upper na object. So, i-identify muna natin yung mga given at isolve natin yung anong dito sa na nag exist sa upper. So, diretso na tayo. So, applying uh, moments. So, magsiset tayo ng moments dito sa R sub 3. So, moment of R sub 3 or R M R 3 is equal to 0. So, ito yung uh, MR3 natin. So, meron uh, naglalagay ako ng point. So, neglect natin sa baba at focus muna tayo sa taas. So, yung mga forces na meron tayo is 600 ohm. So, assuming na ito is counterclockwise is positive. So, itong 600 pound multiply to perpendicular distance with respect to R3 is 10 plus 4. So, 600 times 14. Next is 1,900 is also going downward. So, yung tendency ng rotation nyan is pa counter clockwise. So, also positive 1,900 times yung distance nyan to R3 is 4. And then, yung reaction A natin. So, since roller, yung reaction nya again is going upward perpendicular to the object. So, it is going upward at yung tendency ng rotation nyan is clockwise. So, minus. So, hindi natin alam yung value. So, lalagay na lang natin na RA or reaction na meron sa A. At yung distance nyan is since 4 ito, 4 din ito. And since then, yung distance nyan, so itong side is 6. So, 6 plus 4 is 10. So, yung distance ng RA natin to point R3 is 6 plus 4 is 10. Equals to 0. So, we can solve na yung mga uh, uh, given natin. So, itong 10RA, 10 10 RA, move natin sa kabila para naging positive. Equals 600 times 14 is, uh, using your calculator, meron tayong 8,400 plus 19, or 1,900 times 4 is 7,600. So, yung RA natin, 10RA, i-add natin muna ito, meron tayong 16,000. So, divide natin by 10. So, yung value na RA natin is 1,600 pounds. So, lalagay muna natin dito na yung RA equals 1,600 pounds. Erase muna natin ito. Okay, ngayon naman is hahanapin na natin yung value ng R3. So, kanina, nag-set tayo dito ng moments para ma-identify yung unknown na reaction A. So, this time, Yung dito naman tayo magsiset ng moments para ma-identify yung R3 natin. So, ito na. Moments of RA equals 0. And assuming na yung rotation na counterclockwise ay positive. So, uh, ito na yung bago nating uh, reference point. So, let's solve. So, 600. So, going downward. And yung rotation niya is counterclockwise. So, 600 times yung distance niya to reaction A is 4. And then, 1,900 is rotating clockwise, so minus. Times yung distance niya. Kung for ito, ito ay 6. At lastly, yung R3 natin, so positive. Kasi it's rotating counterclockwise. At yung distance niya to point A is 4 plus 6 is 10. And so, so ito, uh, magiging uh, 2,400. Ito, minus uh, using regulator 11,400 and then ito 10 R3 equals 0 so uh, add natin ito so magiging uh, negative 9,000 
or negative 9,000 uh, and ito is 10R3 so i-move natin ito dito so 10R3 equals so ito magiging positive so divide natin by 10 at yung R3 natin is equal to 900 so yung R3 natin is 900 pounds so again, uh, erase muna natin. So, nasolve na natin yung mga unknown sa taas. So, nasolve na natin yung RA at yung R sub 3. So, wala natin yung problema sa taas. And yung problema na natin yung yun ay yung sa baba. So, yung unknowns natin ay dalawa rin, R1 at R2. So, kagaya na ginawa natin sa taas, magset tayo ng moments in, ng isang unknown para masolve yung value ng isang unknown. So, pinili ko muna yung R sub 1. So, assuming din na yung uh, ganun pa rin, counterclockwise ay positive. So, ano yung mga uh, forces na nag-act dito? sa object na ito so ito 4,000 pound R sub 2 at ito since yung roller natin kanina is pointing up towards this object perpendicular so dito naman mag a din siya perpendicular at hindi na going upward kundi going downward so ganito na siya okay so yung alam natin na yung roller is always perpendicular to the uh, object, object so kung nasa taas yung object yung reaction yun is going upward so kung sa baba naman yung object yung reaction yun is going downward so take note of that so again, pwede na natin masolve yung uh, uh, art moment ng R sub 1 so 4000 is going downward at yung rotation nya is clockwise so negative 4000 times yung distance nya is 4 then plus R sub 2 yung distance nya to point R sub 1 is 10 feet so times 10 and then plus, kasi going downward at yung R S M minus pala, sorry na, is going downward at yung tendency ng rotation is clockwise. So, minus uh, R A, instead of writing R A, may value na tayo ng R A. So, 1,600 times yung distance na is 14. So, sold natin ito. So, ito, negative 1,600 plus 10 R sub 2. Tapos ito is 22,400 equals to 0. So, solve natin ito. So, we add natin kasi similar sign. So, bali magiging negative 38,400 equals to 10. Ay, hindi. Hindi. Plus. Should be plus. Then, R sub 2. So, i-move natin ito outside para maging positive. So, and then divide both sides by 10. So, yung value ng R sub 2 natin is equals to 3,840 pounds. So, R sub 2 ito. 840 pounds. So, erase natin. And lastly, is kailangan natin masolve yung R sub 1. So, dito tayo magmumuwin sa R sub 2. So, moment of R sub 2 should be 0. So, assuming then, yung counter clockwise is positive. So, now let's solve. So, R sub 1 is rotating clockwise. So, ito na yung reference point natin. So, negative R sub 1, yung distance niya 10. And then, plus, kasi yung 4000 is going downward, yung rotation niya is counter clockwise. So, positive 4000 times yung distance niya is, so, kung ito 4, ito 6. So, 6. And then last na force is itong RA natin. So ano yung RA natin? 1,600. Ano yung rotation niya? Yung rotation niya is clockwise. So minus 1,600 times 4. So pwede na natin ilabas itong uh, negative 10 R, R sub 1 para maging positive. Okay? So solve natin ito. Bali magiging 24,000 ito at yung ito is negative 6,400 then R sub 1 natin ay yung value na uh, 17,600 divide natin by 10 yung R sub 1 natin ay uh, tanggalin lang natin yung isang 0 so 1760 or 1760 pounds so ito na yung R natin so erase muna natin so, prove natin 
kung tama yung mga sagot natin. So, paano natin malaman na tama yung sagot natin is magset tayo ng uh, summation of vertical forces is 0. So, since lahat naman ito ay vertical, ito yung gamitin natin. So, lahat ng pointing up ay positive at lahat ng pointing down ay negative. So, uh, so na natin. So, ano yung R1 natin? So, 1760 minus 4000 plus R2 which is 3,840 So, itong RA natin is 1,6 going up and 1,6 going down therefore cancel na yan Wala na to ha, kasi 0 lang din naman yung value nya and then minus 1,900 plus yung R3 na 900 equals 0 So, pag may nakalimutan tayo yung 600 pa pala So, singit natin dito so, meron na tayo. Nasulat na natin lahat. And using your calculator, yung value nyan, it's value ng uh, lahat ng ito ay 0. So, pwede nyo gamitan ng calculator kung ayaw nyo maniwala. So, pag nag-exact ito na 0 equals 0, therefore, yung mga sagot natin ay tama.